What's with the candles? Is this for something specific? It's for the vibe. Okay, so it's just a vibe thing. Yeah, just a vibe thing. It's kind of hot though, right? I mean, I'm getting warm. I'm yeah. sweating. It's it's. I don't know how we're gonna go through like the whole hour with this. It's a little bit. Oh, hot! My God. <laughs> Stop, Alex. <laughs> Alex, no. Oh my God. Is this Frogman, the heat seeker? Ladies? Is a Frogman actually a heat seeker? What's he going to do? He seeks the heat. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. How do you do I? What's going to happen to the Frogman? Like, why is is he here to save us, protect us? He's here to save us and he seeks the heat. He's just here to get warm. No saving is necessary yet. Yet? Oh my God, Alex. I'm so sorry. Did Alina put you up to this? <laughs> Bonjour. Hello. Uh, Hi. <laughs> so much. Um, so much has happened. <laughs> I know. I've seen a new Marvel character. I know. <laughs> and now I get to stare at him for the whole time. <laughs> and it's called Frogman. Okay. Frogman. Yeah. Sure. I'll take it. I, honestly, I'm more mesmerized by the way you lit the candles than I am by the superhero itself. Mm. Um, sorry, Alex, Never. but I didn't see any of your special powers. So I feel a little bit bamboozled. I sought the heat. I came from miles away. So I seek the heat as well. You do not. <laughs> yes, I do. I always have cold feet and I like to put them next to a little fire. <laughs> do you know in college, the only way I used to be able to study is if I put like my feet in the tub. Just to be like super relaxed. Or I'd even put my feet in the sink, like, and I just like read. That is strange. I actually still read in the shower. Like, I would bring a book in and read in the shower. How? How? I just face the other way and let the shower water hit my back and just read the other way. I find Are it all of your books moldy? No. Wrinkly? Some of them. But I'm not like drenching Why them. Why don't you just take a bath? Um, I saw, listen, <laughs> I don't necessarily fit in my bath, right? Like okay. my feet are up, my, I'm like, I'm trying to get comfortable. I can't. Yeah. I mean, of course, if I had a magical tub, then I would. Yeah. Or I'm not just there a tub yet. for a human. Yeah. You a tub big in enough a for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Random fact. Yeah. You don't do that. I don't read. Oh, and if right. I were to read, I would definitely not do it in a shower. With open water. Did you study a lot in college? Yeah. What do oh. you think? I just oh. didn't study. Well, I don't know. Like sometimes I feel like once you get to college, you can just get by. You made no. it. Where else are you going to go from there? No, I studied a lot. Oh, well, I studied a lot too, but I wasn't like, oh no, I didn't get an A. I was like, beast chill. I think that I had a, I'd like say that I have a photographic memory, but I don't. What, Alina? You have a photographic memory? You're just going <laughs> to fucking throw that out there? Why are we sitting here together if you have a photographic memory? No. But sure, I yes, think it's photographic like a 10% memory. because I would like, I could like study for one hour and I would like know everything on that page. So I think that's like a photographic memory because I could remember the picture. I the mean, textbook. that sounds like a very smart person. I would try to do that and I would not memorize it. So zero percent photographic memory. Ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe by the. I no, I'll never have photographic memory. Um, That's why I write my notes down. Oh. I have Matt Gala notes. Oh, you do. I do. I would love to hear them. I wrote we them down. we talked about this last week, but we didn't get to actually. It was before it actually happened. So now it's happened. Yes. And we should discuss some thoughts. I think we should start with. You were right about multiple things. Wow. Wow. I know. And it pains me. It pains me to say. Number one, there were McDonald's French fries. Yes. Confirmed. Someone sent us a picture. Number two, Gigi Hadid wore a sleeping bag. So (laughs) there could have been a sleepover. Yes. She was ahead of it. She was like, I don't know what goes on in there. As you said. I know. And we do now know because they do sneak some phones in there that there's French fries. And sleeping bags and wardrobe changes. Yes. Yes. We should get to that point, too. Yes. But I had a couple of questions because I feel like I was right as well by saying (laughs) I wish people were able to tell me why somebody was on trend. I could not tell you how many times I replayed you saying that. 
every time at every outfit I looked at, I said, "How is this on theme? How is this on theme?" I agree. How is this on theme? Nothing, and I think because nothing was on theme, and I've heard that mimicked by people. So maybe, maybe either no one understands the theme, yeah, or no one was on theme. I don't know. Or are you embarrassed if you're not on theme, or do you go in there thinking? Do I'm people just, just do wear whatever thing. they want? Yes, yeah. that's what I mean. Are they just like, let me look my hottest. Put me in anything. Let me just start by saying, I'm nervous to say anything because I don't know shit about fashion. No, no, no. I don't know shit about look shit. About, look at what we're wearing. Uh, I think I look gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know nothing. And yeah, my yeah, opinions yeah. are going to be bogus. Of course. Of but course. Baseline said, fashion knowledge below ground level yes um you know so take it take it for what it is but i think i'm gonna guess okay. right 90 percent of the people are ground level fashion experts right we're all looking to people to explain fashion to us i yeah. want to know yeah the gilded age right yes can we talk can we start I saw, there i finally saw some photos of what that was like the time period it was right late 18 18- hundreds yeah the 18 i don't late. know i'm just gonna nod okay mm-hmm. but i saw the dresses it was like um it was like uh like downton abbey ish was it but this like is the, the dresses US. the dresses and stuff in the wardrobe that they would wear are you talking about met specifically or when you googled it gilded glamour like what it was supposed gilded america okay. glamour like to what it was fair, supposed to represent i've only seen like two episodes of downton abbey so I don't feel like I can really... I don't really watch. I don't watch it. Okay. I just have seen stills. <laughs> <laughs> stills of Kim. Okay, stills look. of Downton. Um, okay. So I just want to start. The only person that I understood that was on theme, mm-hmm. according to my notes, is Billie Eilish. Yes. That's the only person that I saw walk down. And I was like, that looks like it's on theme. Yes. I don't know the theme. I don't get the theme. But it seems theme yes ish theme adjacent if you will i'll show you a picture of downton no of like what gilded okay um oh and the the only other guy that i saw that i understood was evan mock from the new gossip girl Hmm. he was I, i guess in general can guys even really dress up at all really like is this for them like this okay yes why was that why was that even the theme? You know? Yeah. Let's we can even start there. Yeah. Why was that even the theme? Why was that the theme? <laughs> but um yeah, Billy was on theme. Billy was on theme. Um she looked just like the evil stepsisters from um Cinderella. <laughs> you know, when they were like she walking did. around with their little toots. Yeah. But I loved the dress. Yeah. Um she looked great. Do you think it hurt the boobs? <sighs> I I'd never know. My boobs aren't big enough. I've never <laughs> haven't pushed against me. <laughs> It doesn't seem comfortable. And, you know, in Pirates of the Caribbean where Keira Knightley was getting Mm -hmm. in the back and then she falls because she can't breathe. Yeah. That's what was in my head when I was seeing Billie Eilish was like she's inches away from tumbling down those stairs. She can't breathe. Um, There was a reporter that apparently was getting a lot of uh, praise because she was like best dressed. (laughs) Who cares? (laughs) (laughs) She did. She did. Hit, hit the theme though very well. Why was she okay? I mean, extra credit obviously yeah. for the reporter, but did you see a photo of her? Did, yeah, did she look it, on it theme? looked very on theme. It was, it was, it was like modern on theme because there was a lot of sparkles, but like it was like Billy's but sparkly. Ugh, I hate it sparkles. wasn't like that at all, but oh, you know what I mean? No, no idea. Okay, pick ref. The only people that I liked that I shouldn't say the only people. A couple people that I liked, but I don't know if they're on theme, was Kaya Gerber. She looked so pretty. Yes, she did. I love her Not hair. On theme. Not That's on like theme. my dream hair. Like to have super curly, like long hair. hair. Yeah, I know it's not feasible for me, but it's like. <laughs> yes, her. That's a reporter? Yeah, she looks gorgeous. Yeah, I get I totally feel mistaken. Hennessy was... swear. I think she's like a pageant girl, but she's also a reporter. <laughs> Girls can do it all. I know. Um... I have one thing. I have one thing. Oh, tell me. What the fuck was Sebastian Stan wearing? Oh, yeah. That was not on theme. He was like bootleg Harry Styles. What was he going for? Do we even have a reference of like, what was he trying? 
I don't how, think it's important. Okay. Because a hot pink suit? Was it even pink? I thought it was red. It was hot pink. Are you colorblind? I, no, I think you're colorblind. Alex, Look, pull it up. Frog. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, I, I felt like... I saw him first. It seemed like all the celebs were at this hotel and walking out of this hotel to go yeah. to the Met. And yeah. I saw him there. Hot pink. I oh, mean, shit, that bitch. You're right. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for my comments. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, cool. Did outfit, they even have hot pink in the Gilded Age? Was that color even invented yet? <laughs> I doubt it. There's no I'm way. I'm sure it was. It had roses back then. You no, know, pink <laughs> Pink was not invented in the Gilded Age. I can confirm. That's way too highlighter to even be a part of whatever was going on back then. Well, the, the whole the tapering of the pants, everything wasn't Gilded Age. And you're picking on the color. Yeah. The color to me shouts 80s. Yeah. Um, that was, was my input. Who did I hate? Um, Lala. I didn't get her I outfit see i didn't see it uh frogman mm-hmm. i didn't like it um lenny kravitz uh-huh didn't like it mm. I, I don't know want, i just think that majority of the people no no we're not lala on, on anthony theme. we're not on theme like oh what did you think of blake lively i have her down as under my theme like i kind of see how she was on theme yeah she looked like a statue I just, I don't know. Maybe the idea of dressing up is so blah to me in general that it's like, yes, this is cool. But like, were you like jumping up and down when her dress changed to blue? No. Yeah, was was like, that gilded? Did people change colors in that <laughs> age? Like, how was that on theme? <laughs> no. I it mean, was magical. I thought it was cute how Ryan Reynolds was like gawking at her. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I thought that was cute. It was cute. I like that more than the dress. Did you know that there's a weird rule that they can't? That's her. Mm, that looks like it's a like almost spaceship. Like a... And the, a thong. Like you can kind of see it's like a thong, but then a skirt. Mm. I don't know. Not on theme. Did you know that Blake Lively is her own stylist? Uh, Girls no. can do it all. No way. She made that dress. How oh, does Al- I mean, she styles no. herself. No. Oh. <laughs> Alina, a stylist. Oh, a she dress doesn't designer? have a stylist. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I'm honestly like, I mean, what? Isn't that oh, regular people? Yeah, like, <laughs> isn't that funny how we're like, oh, wow, she got rid of her stylist. She's dressing herself now. <laughs> I God, did that today. I did that at five, you know? Uh, what else? Oh, I have a couple questions for you. Yeah. Wait. Mm. I had a train of thought. Mm. Camera, let it fly. Um, why does Lizzo carry a flute? I feel like you're gonna know this. I have no idea. Oh, but she does. She seems to carry a flute. Yeah. Is that maybe she just wants everyone to know she can play an instrument? <laughs> that seems weird on a red carpet. I think that that's cool because who else is playing a flute? I was honor ba- honor band flute. Okay, first but chair. you weren't on the Met Gala steps in 2022 playing the flute. Exactly, but I was an honor band and I still wouldn't bring my flute to a red carpet as a flautist myself. You know how to play flute? I have my so own So you know how to flute. like put your fingers down to certain holes? That's and how like... you play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you play it. And when I was a kid, I got a harmonica <sighs> and um, I would just blow air through it. I didn't. And Technically, like... that's how you play a harmonica. Yeah, but like you're supposed to get it to sound differently, like by, you know, putting your fingers on holes and stuff. Oh. I assume. Or like in the movies, they're like. I thought you just like blowing it and move it. I don't think you're putting fingers anywhere. Okay. Well, maybe that's why it didn't sound different. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, it would just sound like air coming out. Like it would just sound like the sound. And then like I would like move around a lot with it. Would you move your head or were you actually moving the harmonica? I was moving my head to like make it seem like I was really into it. Like I was really playing it. Was anyone watching you? No, it was, <laughs> was it Sean Connery? It was, <laughs> it was in that same room. <laughs> um, okay, so Lizzo's flute is just a cool prop. I oh, get it. I'm into it. Couples aren't allowed to sit together. I was reading like the weird rules. That's what I said. I feel like you have to sit at a table with people that you don't know. Yeah. So you're making new friends. Anna Wintour like doesn't let couples sit together. She also greets everyone at the top of the stairs. 
but they only have 20 seconds to talk to her before the next person calls. I'd be like, just skip me. I can't do it. <laughs> skip me. I, was I gonna, have nothing good to say. I was going to bring this up later, but I have like a very hard, strong, fast issue with small talk, which I don't know if you can tell because like we're sitting here talking and it's yeah. small talk. This is I not will, small talk. I will do getting anything. into things. I will do anything to avoid small talk. Small talk is like, how was your weekend? What have you been up to? Oh, okay. This is Chit-chat. not small talk. Oh, okay, okay. Was this talk- big talk? Long talk? This is deep talk. Deep talk. Okay. Yeah. I hate small talk. Same. Don't even come up to me I, if you have nothing good to say. When I'm at the getting my hair done, head, headphones. Store, headphones. It's mostly because I don't know what to say. Uh, I know. I don't know where to go after, like, how have you been? Yeah. Um, I feel like I could just say, like, that's awesome over and over again. And uh, and like it, the conversation is going. I don't even ever say that's awesome. I, that's not even part of my vocabulary. <laughs> that's not your go-to but word. When small talk rolls around. Everything awesome. is awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> um, I once told my hairstylist three years after I got dumped that I was still dating the same boy just to not have the small talk conversation. <laughs> she was like, "Wow, you guys have been dating for such a long time," and I was like, "I know things are going really well," but I just couldn't. I couldn't just be like. Yeah, yeah it's over just I, to, do I didn't want to go on the story i basically like lie about things to people <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie what you did was a lie it was a lie but my lie is because i'm trying to avoid small stuff. yes i mean i'm the same what, way okay I'll just, what was your lie i'll just be like like someone will be like are you traveling anywhere and i'll be like nope because i don't even want to are talk you at to the me. airport <laughs> what is she talking about <laughs> no like like if i'm getting my nails done or like you oh, get your eyebrows down or something. Okay. They're like, oh, do you have anything going on? And I'm like, nope, same old. <laughs> Haven't done have you shit traveled years. anywhere? I am in a day, but <laughs> no one needs to know. You're not going to tell anyone about it. Yeah, I like small it. talk. Okay. Um, okay, back to your question. Back to my questions. Why didn't Kim wear her hair like Marilyn Monroe if she was going to wear the Marilyn Monroe dress? Good question. Like, why have it back like that if you were trying to mimic her at... There was some sort of thing with like, it was botched. Her hair color was botched. So I think maybe she slicked it back mm. because it was wrong. Okay. Because I just felt like if you're doing the whole thing. And again, as I said last time, Billie Eilish already fucking pulled this shit. Part one. <laughs> Why are we doing that? It's not cool now. Billie Eilish already fucking did it. Did you know she couldn't zip up over her butt? So she wore the little thing in the back? Yes. But then I saw it zipped up later and I was like. Well, it was a fake because they took that dress off five minutes like after. And then they put a replica on her. They paid $5 million yeah. just to swap out. Yeah. We'll just use the fake then. Uh, no one I would agree. have cared. And no one would have fucking known what dress that was and ever you if said, you wouldn't have told us. I was so inspired by Marilyn Monroe's dress. That I made a duplicate. That I made a duplicate that fit me. She fit lost 16 body. pounds and it still didn't fit. And she's probably already, what, 105 pounds soaking wet? No also... Either. I said this the other day, okay. when you were growing up, were you always told like Marilyn Monroe was like the idea, beauty, like, but she wasn't like a skinny girl, you know, she had boobs yeah. and a butt and like a stomach and like she had, was she all was curved. She was a curvy girl. Are you fucking kidding me? Kim curvy. Kardashian had to lose fucking 16 pounds and still couldn't zip up that dress. Mm-hmm. Marilyn Monroe was obviously but 90 pounds then. When I look at photos of Mar- Marilyn Monroe, I'm like, she wasn't big. No. Like, why would anyone say that about Say her? that. Or like- she's like what everyone is like i know now. i know like, I, I don't understand what how thin were people S- apparently super thin i also thought everyone looked really thin on, on, <laughs> on the red carpet and i said that uh to my friend tyler and she was like i just don't think you've been on the internet recently people are thin <laughs> <laughs> and i was like okay shit okay maybe it's me well they probably all what is the difference? Side well, it's the side? same. It's the same picture. She's just turned to the side. We're looking uh, at a Marilyn Monroe photo, like face on into the side. I mean, oh, that's uh, she could be a hundred pounds. Yeah, but like, why were we constantly told that she was like this curvaceous like woman? Yeah, like, she was. Well, I think they said like she was like a size six. Yeah, like, I'm oh, like oh, size six is normal. I know. That's small. I know. I know. Anyways, I just was pissed about that. I was like, wait, Kim Kardashian had the number one was skinny then lost 16 pounds mm. then we were lied to she didn't actually fit in the dress I know. she had to shoelace it up the back i know and it looked the same i know how did you feel about her and pete walking down together i liked it you did it was I, cute I, they looked happy I, it feels a little I fresh to me i feel like she was just happy. there with kanye maybe because i'm a kanye fan mm. i thought i always feel like it's a little new mm-hmm. but 
I want Kim to be happy. Love Pete. I just want to see, like, I think Pete's roster of ladies ladies is, like, pretty impressive. And I just want to see who's next. So I know that sucks, <laughs> given what I just said. But, like, who else is on the list, Pete? Who are you going for? He's only 28. He's got 10, 15 more years. Think about who was in that room, too. Yeah. All of his exes. Yeah. Kaya Gerber. Yeah. Phoebe from Bridgerton. Yeah. Kim Kardashian. Yeah. That and room. is not his ex. Who? Well, not yet. Yeah. Apparently. Was Ariana Grande there? No. Not that I saw. Maybe she went around mm. back like I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. I just think there it like people that aren't because it's like hand selected as to who can go. What do you mean hand selected? Like Anna Wintour decides who can go. And that's pretty hand selected. <laughs> and it just must suck if you're like a huge artist and like you don't get invited. Really? Like what if Ariana Grande wasn't invited? I doubt it. She probably just maybe turned it down. Maybe she's like, I'm married I now. I don't it. need the shit. Yeah. I mean, think about it. People were like amped up about T Swizzle going. People yeah. were like tracking her private jet to see yeah. if it would land in New York. She doesn't need this. You know, they paid $100,000 to have Jay Z and Beyonce there one year. Like they'll spend. Was that the year that they fought? I don't know. Because that was the first time I ever was made aware of the Met Gala. The Gala. The Gala. Oh, also no smoking allowed, but there's all these pictures of people smoking. No Just cameras. Just respect the oh. museum. <laughs> Don't smoke in there. There's paintings. Show some fucking respect. <laughs> yeah, these paintings are old as shit. Yeah. And there's like statues. Who knows what smoke can do to a statue? Yeah. There's a rule for a reason. I know. We're rule followers over here on this podcast. Yeah. We don't jaywalk. I mean, do not. Yeah, I wouldn't do that either. You, you get scared too? Yeah. I'm not going to do it. I will wait. I'll wait for the light. Three minutes. I know, no problems. And even if the whole street goes, even if my friends go, I will wait. I know. I always uh, do what the parking signs tell me. Mm -hmm. I will not fuck up with mm -hmm. parking. Yeah, you got to read all four of them. Yeah, I drive according to the law. Yeah. I. Uh, oh my God. The other day was the first time I ever crossed the double yellow line in the carpool lane. And I, <laughs> I was terrified. It's because yeah. I was going to miss my exit. And I was like, should I miss my accent or I should I break the law? Miss, miss I know. That's where we differ. You can always go back. I, I understand. But it was a make or break situation and I did it. I was tired and I got over and I've still been thinking about it. That was maybe three weeks ago. It was the first time I ever did it. Yikes. I How are you going to get over I it? I forgive myself. I don't I'm know. Moving I on. wouldn't forgive yourself that quickly. Next on my list. Why no eyebrows, Kendall? Was that part of the Gilded Age? What's up with people <laughs> removing their <laughs> eyebrows? <laughs> Is it fashion forward um, blonde, or fashion backward? Blonde brows are are like bleached brows are becoming a thing. So, but it's not Flesh. gilded then. So, not on theme. No, that's a that's a mix in of twenty twenty two. I don't understand. It looks horrible. Do you think it's funny how people say like Kendall just gives nothing? Like there are just like that's just her thing. Like what do you mean? Like she she's a model, but like. She's the like most boring model to people because she gives nothing in her photos. And then like even her look, they're like, once again, Kendall giving nothing. <laughs> I haven't heard this at all. What? I haven't heard it. Well, you know, it's true. Uh, honestly, like, what can I say? She's fucking gorgeous. Uh, maybe she's given nothing because if she gave something, it'd be too much. We couldn't look at her. <laughs> We'd have to look away. Like, imagine if she tried. I know. We wouldn't stand a chance. Imagine if she tried to strut her stuff. I know. But yeah, I don't think that no eyebrows was a thing in the Gilded Age. Good. And I don't think it's ever like there's ever been a time period where people removed their eyebrows. Uh, they should because they We should. need it. We There's a we need reason. <laughs> there's a reason they're there. Yeah. And um Yeah, I think I I think Just I imagine. Know. They're getting ready. She's about to walk out the door and they're like, "You know what, Kendall?" Let's remove your eyebrows. Maybe, It'll just put maybe your look this over will, the edge. Maybe people will think you're giving something. Yeah, maybe we'll, people will be like, whoa, there's Kendall, browless. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's write about it. Do you think they were gone or do you think they were taped and makeup? God, it just, I don't. I think she should have committed and removed them permanently. <laughs> oh my God. Can you, oh, laser them off? No, shave them. Oh, no, no, no. So then she'd be giving way too much in her photos. Yeah. Um, my next question. Why wedding dresses? Is this gilded? Were people just getting married in the gilded age? Are you talking about Kylie? It wasn't just Kylie, though. I feel like there was multiple wedding dress mm. looks. Yeah. Haley. Haley. Yeah. Biebs was in a wedding. Like a wedding style. I think um, there was, was a couple gilded. other people that were in white. They were all beautiful. 
but not gilded. Not and gilded. me and Sarah believe you should be on theme. I do. Don't go to a theme party, a Halloween theme party, and dress Christmas. It's not an ugly sweater. It's fucking Halloween. Yeah, this is true. If the rule is gilded, yeah, continue on yeah. with gilded. Last question. Yeah. Oh, uh, Kylie was, she said, I don't care what anyone thinks of what I'm wearing because her whole outfit was a tribute to Virgil Abloh. Okay, did it have to be a wedding dress? I think it, yeah, because like his whole like style is like 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 not going with the norm. So like going off theme. Is this the proper place? The Met? She said, I don't care what anyone thinks. It's like more of a special thing because he passed away. That's very and true. And she was, you know, she owned it. I yeah. didn't care what anyone thought. I did think, you know, at first glance, when you look at, the outfit it is a little uh jarring given the theme but if she's rocking with it and she doesn't care then whatever yeah who cares i don't care who cares um last question about the met yeah baseball hats was baseball invented <laughs> during the guilty <laughs> age um definitely not so not on theme not on theme but again kylie doesn't care Baseball was invented during the Gilded Age. <gasps> no way. So, yeah. No 18, way. 1876. First that's event. when baseball was invented? That's when the, I think that's when the first MLB... They didn't wear caps then, though. I'm not caps sure. Caps were not invented. But Abner Doubleday uh, is credited with developing the game in 1839. Huh. And apparently the first MLB event was 1876, I believe. Whoa, they had the name back then? MLB? I know. Wow. What does the M stand for? Major. Major. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> League baseball. I knew the L and the B. And I was like, wait, what? Major long ball. Major long ball. Major long ball. Um, okay, that's it for the men. That was, those really were the things I wanted to discuss yeah, with you. Yeah, it was just more of a their con- confirmation that there is a sleepover, there is McDonald's french fries, and we do need someone there in real time telling us. With a walkie talkie. Telling us or it. if it's on theme or not on theme and how so. I know. Would you, if you went, would you, (laughs) would you want confirmation that it was like that the designer was on theme? Like, was that, would that be your rule? God, you know, I really, I I don't have really any fashion rules. So, so um, so you would be, I would be on theme for the principal. Okay. But what if they said you can go, but, our designers are not making it on theme. You're going to look atrocious. <laughs> I'd pass. Easy pass. Really? 100%. I don't really want to go anyway. So easy out. Huh. Either I'm on theme or I ain't going. Okay. And uh, Alina, you know, I can't get ready for 10 hours. I can't fucking do it. No one has to. That's just that, That's just some people. That's not a rumor. That's truth. I heard you it on get TikTok. Get ready in an hour. No way. Yes. There's no way. Not even brides on their wedding day get ready in an hour. You, you think the Met Gala, the Gala, people are just getting up, washing their hair and going? Yes. Are you insane? Sebastian Stan? Boys don't have to do shit. This is not a boy <laughs> thing. Boys literally roll out of bed. You could like, wear I his go. outfit. But here we are talking about pink in okay. the Gilded Age. I have a hypothetical for you. Okay. You can go. Okay. To the Met Gala. Okay. But, and you will be paid. You'll be paid. I'm a, actually getting paid to go to the Met Gala. Yeah, you will be paid. <sighs> what have I done in my life? But you have to dress as Sebastian Stan. <laughs> and you only have 30 minutes to get ready and go. Can I go around back? No, you have to go around front. You have to talk to Anna Winter at the top. Oh, my God. Honestly, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go even... At my best, you know, like I don't know if that's on my bucket list. Okay. Um, think about all the things that you'd be able to. What? Like, say I can't you, you go on the Met like without having to go to the Met Gala. You can go to the museum. Exactly. There's no red carpet. There's no cameras. Sounds there's no Anna Wintour. Perfect. There's no phone confiscation. Uh, amazing. I love the Met without the Gala. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so would you? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. But you're fine with your picture being taken. That's like my <laughs> fucking nightmare. Like Alina's like, okay, I got this. Bam, 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 bam. I'd be like, oh, I, I would be hiding behind you like fucking Frogman, riveting from the he, back. He doesn't hide. He seeks heat only. There's probably a lot of heat there. All those flashing cameras. Ah, sounds, sounds um 
sounds like too much. I can confirm Frogman was there. <laughs> huh? Alex was there. Oh, okay. Not Alex, Frogman. Oh, right, 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 right. Because that with the is... mask, no one can tell who you are. Crumply. Um, um, well, I thought... All right, that's it. That's a wrap on okay. Megala. Um, I thought it'd be helpful as everyone is getting to know us yeah. now for them to know our Myers-Briggs. Okay. But we should clarify, we didn't take the real Myers-Briggs Yes, because the test. real one costs money. I have taken the real one. Good for you. Thank I've you. taken it too, oh, but you, you should take it regularly because you change. I think I have changed. I've changed. Okay. What's okay. yours? Hit I have to look it up. Okay. I don't remember. There's too many letters. I think I know what yours four. starts with. Can I guess? I would like you to guess. It starts with an I. Okay. Is yours an I as well? No. Whoa. Shocker. Miss No Met Gala. <laughs> yeah, I mean like. All right. You want to you know mine? Yeah, hit me. Okay. I am. <laughs> we haven't. No, I don't know if we've addressed this. But Sarah does not like to keep her phone nearby. And I hate it. So that's why she does the piece of paper. Yeah. Um, I am INFJ. I am an advocate. F- and I'm an ENFJ. So we're just, you're, we're the same except yes. outward, inward. Interesting. What was that the, makes sense. What was the, the name? Protagonist, I think. Ooh. Are you the same, Alex? That was mine as well. ENFJ dash T. I think I'm ENFJ dash A. What's, oh, oh antagonist. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the main character, pretty much. That, that's what it's saying. Cool. I used to be ENTJ. You used to be an E? Yes. In your life? Yes. You had an imaginary friend. There's no way you're an E. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the famous people that... Oh, I didn't see the famous people part. Who was it for? Sean Connery. <laughs> Alex, are you fucking with me? Swear to God. Swear to God. No I'm wonder you along. like me. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're Barack right Obama. Real? Okay. Oprah Winfrey. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> I'm going to walk into a room with a little more attitude. <laughs> ben Affleck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said some rough times, but he's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Maya Angelou. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I really have a presence. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, you have an issue with her? <laughs> mm. You don't like her personality. I mean, I don't get good vibes. Oh, wow. Ooh, really? Ooh, ooh. She's too cool girl for you. She's too like, oh, like everything's like, oh, I tripped. Yeah. 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 Some people have that opinion of her. I like that she tripped. Yeah. You I know. don't know this reference. Well, like, you know, she tripped at the Oscars oh. on the way up the stage. Oh, okay. And so people are like, oh, like she's always, you know, just like, I'm so relatable. Oh, celebrities are just, just like, like us. us. They trip. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Um, my famous people are uh, Martin Luther King, <laughs> <laughs> Nelson Mandela. Wow, you are you should really walk into a room proud too. Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> you are way too judgy to be Mother Teresa. <laughs> way. Marie Kondo, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Do we know who that is? Shit. Marie Lady Kondo? Gaga? Uh, no. Who? She had the whole series on Netflix that everyone got super organized after. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I yeah. Seen what that. is the whole thing like? Throw away, organize things. your life. Throw away things that don't make you feel good. Good. Um, Nicole Kidman. Okay. Find me in the AMC theaters. I could see you being very uh-huh. poised, like her. You know, regal, poised. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. Hmm. And then I love when it goes into the the um, fiction characters because it's like. I didn't see that. Have they taken the quiz as <laughs> Jon Snow? <laughs> You're Jon Snow? Yeah. Oh, Aragorn. Did you watch Game of Thrones? Yes. Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Did You haven't even seen Lord of the I Rings. I know, but I'm telling you because okay. you would know. Aragorn. Huh? That's not his name. What is it? I thought it was Aragorn. No. I thought it was Aragorn. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Aragorn. There's an Listen, R in there. I don't an pronounce R. things correctly. You're Galadriel. Good. What? Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. I don't. Let's show me what you're. Galadriel. Oh, the fairy princess. Okay. Jon Snow, you're Daenerys Targaryen, Sarah. Yes. And Morpheus from the Matrix. Yes. Yours are way cooler. (laughs) Well, I'm an E, baby. I'm an E. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. Well, do you want to. In in here, it says that I hate small talk. 
Does it? Yeah. Okay. It says you you absolutely hate it. Um, my strengths and weaknesses. Did you write anything down? Do you need I, Alex I took to some look screenshots. I have Alex have it, but Alex and me are the same. So like he can talk about himself in reference to me. Mm-hmm. Just surrounded myself with Sean Connery's. Oh, I s- took a screenshot of the introduction. Um, you may burn yourself trying to get that phone. Do you want me to hand it to you? Yeah, hand it to me. Okay. I hate reading aloud. That's I like know. my fuck. So, did you hate popcorn? I have nightmares. I used to have to read chapters and chapters ahead, and I was sitting there in second grade, like I'm fucked either way. I don't know this word, and then I'd nudge the person next to me, and I'd be like, "What's this word?" And they'd be like, "Tree," and I'd be like, "Fuck, <laughs> it's tree!" Oh my god. I used to hate that. I as mean, well, uh, what I, who kid who liked it? Please write in the comments what kid liked popcorn because the, uh, I'm gonna just oh uh, I can't even I don't even know what to say right now. It's it was the worst experience of my life. Popcorn. And I liked school, but that when that time come, I was like, I, I would pee. time it. I gotta go. I would time it to figure. Okay, so I would count the people in the class, same to figure out what paragraph of was course. Buy, and I would practice it ahead of over time and over again. And oh, I just I hated it. I know. So here we are. We're popcorning ourselves um, to ourselves. Yes. Okay. So my strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. I'm creative. Advocates aren't exactly like everyone else, and that's a wonderful thing. People with this personality type embrace their creative side. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm <laughs> insightful. <laughs> um, eh, cool. Uh, principled. They tend to have strong yeah. beliefs and values, particularly when For it comes sure. to matters of ethics. Um, when advocates talk about topics close to their heart, their conviction and heartfelt idealism can aspire and persuade even the sternest of skeptics. <sighs> Um, not me. Oh, back to insightful. They strive to move beyond superficiality and seek out the deeper truths in life. Wow. They can give them almost an uncanny ability to understand people's true motivations, feelings, and needs. Uh, passionate. Uh, let's see. Is there anything Altruistic. Bad about you? I'm getting there. Okay. okay. Scroll down. People with this personality type aren't happy to succeed at another person's expense. They want to use their strengths for the greater good, and they rarely lose sight of how their words and actions might affect others. That's why I'm always overthinking. All right. My weaknesses. Actually, why don't you tell me what your. Okay. I don't know if I have strengths or anything. <laughs> um, Alex can read them. Yeah. Alex can read them. Speaking of, I speak up for what's right. Popcorn, Sarah. Popcorn. I, I hit Alex up <laughs> to read. <laughs> Uh, a protagonist is a person with the extroverted, intuitive feeling and judging personality traits. These warm, forthright types Indeed. love helping others. Oh, my judgment like percentage was super high. Oh. And they tend to have strong ideas and values. They back their perspective with the creative energy to, to achieve their goals. They rarely shy away from opportunity to do the right thing, even when doing so is far from easy. That's right. Mm. That's me. <laughs> And actually, the difference between the ENFJ A versus T is you're the assertive protagonist versus I'm the turbulent protagonist. What turbulent. What does that mean? Yeah, what is turbulent? The one, it, the the Chaotic? first, yeah, I guess. But like the first thing that stands out is the sense of self, and it says eighty one percent of assertive protagonists say their self confidence is high or very high, <laughs> compared to thirty nine percent of turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Well. I would when I was answering all these questions though I was thinking I, I know exactly what Alina's putting like I, I was like do you what feel comfortable talking to people like do you rethink things that you've said and I was like oh Alina's gonna yeah, put yeah, 100% yeah. Agree. I did yeah strong agree yeah I did strong disagree oh it was like do you seek out people in a room to like talk to them I was like just no I'm not gonna seek people out no no I think like I I am an E in situations where I'm comfortable and yeah. I am an I in situations where I'm uncomfortable yeah. and you're just an, a general eye i actually used to be an e and i i don't really like being alone like i like being around people that i'm comfortable with but you're not so speaking I'm an e. in those situations like you're an observer in i'm bi- speaking <laughs> i would say you're quieter though yes because i'm getting to know who i want to speak to oh observer you know? mm-hmm. um my, did you get to her weaknesses? Yeah, I really want to know. I don't know. think there was any weaknesses <laughs> for you. <know. laughs> okay, I'll go while you look it up. Mine is uh, sensitive to criticism. Okay, for sure. Um, when it comes to issues that are near and dear to them, people with this personality type 
type can be, oh my God, I said a word wrong. People with this personality type can be defensive or dismissive, mm-hmm. uh, reluctant to open up, uh, perfectionist, avoiding the ordinary. They that yearn like to do extraordinary things with their lives, but Sounds it's hard good. to achieve anything extraordinary without breaking it down into small, manageable steps. Um, and prone to burnout. Okay. Those really don't seem that bad as negatives. Alex, what's wrong with me? <laughs> uh, the negatives are, or the weaknesses are unrealistic, overly idealistic, possibly condescending, intense, and could be overly empathetic. But that kind of goes with the strengths that it says also. It says receptive, reliable, passionate, altruistic, and charismatic. Mm. It's like the flip of the coin. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like we're a good match. I think we are. Balance each other out. I didn't need this quiz to decide that. But it's nice to have the info. But it's nice It's nice for me to know. Yeah. And it's nice for everyone else to know. I agree. Popcorn Sarah. Oh, shit. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, while we're talking about the Met and the Kardashians really quick, I wanted to bring this up because it just came into my worldview. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently... This whole sex tape thing with Kim Kardashian is fake. And I mean that in the way of apparently. 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 I've never been on like television before. <laughs> apparently, in 2007, Kim, Chris, and Ray J mm-hmm. formed a team and put the sex tape out themselves what, what kind of team? Like a little corporation? Yeah. Sex they said, team unlimited? I, I guess Kim came up with this idea. And Ray J was on, on board, or one of the other. She oh, always had the sex so tapes. Like them. And she put them out there herself, and then obviously constructed the story of it was taken from her, blah, 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 blah. So Ray J's being painted as the uh, villain? Exactly. And so he finally kind of came out. He's like, it's been 14 years of like staying silent. I've never made a comment on this in my life. And he shared DMs on Instagram with Kim. He shared like just his thoughts with I think Daily Mail and he said after this second time of bringing it up on the Kardashians like he's had enough like, yeah because everyone was like oh so sad Ray J's coming right. back out right to attack right and apparently <sighs> on the laptop he was saying was pictures of them like there wasn't like a sex tape like she has both of the sex tapes yeah, he said it was like made he's up. saying she's always had both of the sex tapes the only things that was on the computer he's saying were pictures of them huh. and i like this is it's something a, that i would so, it's so sad that like basically the the whole like the springboard for like kim's whole career right. has been at the expense of ray j's name right <laughs> and i also just like, feel oh, like this guy released their he made a sex tape and then he released, released it, it without a permission and right. then 14 years later the little kid and she, finding right sex and tape. she hates it and it's like the narrative like i never like want to do this i just made like a sex tape with my boyfriend like you know this kind of like and then they asked was roblox to put it on the app right or not like or not even that it's just what I don't think that they necessarily asked Afro- Roblox to put it yeah, on the app. I don't think it was that. I think like they just... Well, if they planted it thus far, why wouldn't they plant it, e- it like that? The the video wasn't on the actual Roblox. It was just like... like an ad. Yeah. Like it, it well, just then they a paid Kim for Kim ads. Thing. Maybe. It, it, it was just like like the the character walked up and there was like a little like card that said like... Kim, yeah, but they had to still Kim. orchestrate the ad for that. It wasn't like an like an ad placement with Kim's face. It just said like Kim K, a night with Kim K, or whatever the thing was called. But who orchestrated it? That? Could, just somebody somebody created a Roblox environment, like built that stuff up like that. You can just like I guess you can go to like different servers. Like I that. think that part was also made up. Right. That's what it that's was caught what on saying. camera. Like, right. They just pretended that she saw something. To, like, oh, you start. think there was nothing even there? Right. I would like to know. I would like to ask the audience if they have gotten any such ads Doesn't while playing like... Roblox <laughs> to confirm if it was done via them or if it was made up. I just kind of. I like... think they could have easily put a screenshot on the TV they, they show if it existed. They could have. <sighs> that doesn't make you sad though. It's like what. <sighs> Now, what is your opinion on on the situation? Like, does it make you like? What if 
does it make you look at them differently? Why did you have to do this? And if you wanted to put out the sex tape, like, did you have to have the narrative of like, yeah, like I'm the poor me, I'm the victim. And then it's like, is could your it have, mind changed? Could they have just like painted someone else as the villain? Like some, someone got into our stash uh, and yeah. got the tape. Like, why did it have to? Yeah, that's sad. I think, it's I mean, but I think people have truth. been saying that for so long about the Kardashians that everything is so right, scripted but this, and like, totally. But this seems like something that's like another level. Like it's different to kind of like script something silly, like, yeah. oh, we're having a fight. Or like But to script a narrative of fourteen years of like, this was taken out of my possession, this was put up against my will, I'm suing this production company. All of this It just seems like a lot of lies to keep your story I, straight. That's what I was saying. I was I couldn't get up and get yeah. through a fucking day if I would have <laughs> known this was like hanging over my head, like that I've lied for so long. Yeah, and then you have to rehash it over and over reviews on this new season i know and you got to make sure that no one slips and says well this was your idea mom i know <laughs> and the whole th- shtick with the kardashians is like we're not actresses we're not actresses if this is true and ray j is telling the truth has anyone ever acted better than kim anyone she's fucking bawling for 14 years over yeah. this yeah the phone call that she had with her attorney all of this shit phew, oscar worthy yeah, I believed it. Yeah, and I, not to say that I don't Put know if Ray J is telling movie. the truth. I just thought, like, what a crazy twist of events! Like, the way people look at Kim in this situation is like obviously mm-hmm. so much sympathy because how fucking horrible yeah. for this to happen to you. Yeah, and now well, it's, and it's saying the opposite. It's actually happened to people. Actually, <gasps> I know, I know, and it's not even like, oh, I'm bringing to light what can happen to women. It's no. like, no, just. It's just so fucked up. Poor Did Ray you know J. that? Do I know something before you? You Did broke I surprise you? the news <sighs> to me. Okay. Well, maybe like in a couple of days we'll have more information and yeah. maybe Kim maybe. will say something. I don't know. Maybe there will be an announcement. Closure? A conclusion to the story? An apology. Kim, I popcorn you right now. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us. Popcorn. Kim Kardashian. Um, anyways. We should get Ray J on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that Ray J was actually like a billionaire because of the raycon earbuds is that oh, true yeah. i yeah. mean killing it way to go ray j yeah well he's i mean he's got to make up for being All dragged the, the narrative <laughs> i know for 14 years is he alex it appears that he's a 14 millionaire oh i mean hey, i look, mean 14, 14 million is a billion it's, it's mean, really what's close. the difference <laughs> uh oh my god yeah anyway i have to tell you about this time i was attacked by a snake is attacked a very loose word because I'm feeling it was like a week ago. Oh my. And you're still here to live, but tell the tale. Attacked. Would you like to know the size of the snake? There's nothing I'd love more. Okay, well, I'll tell you the size later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Start with the size and then go to the story. Nope. Okay. Shit. I so charge. We went on a hike, me and Noel, and I've been trying to do like a hike a week. Just was like good for you. Okay. And um all that elevation and all that walking. Elevation? What are you fucking walking up a hill? Yes. Like Mount Everest? Yes. Okay. It was Malibu. <laughs> it's like 900 feet elevation. Like, that's a lot to walk up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I did say, this has got to be pretty close to Mount Everest. <laughs> when I was walking up it because I was dead. <laughs> Literally, I mean, okay, and you're walking Everest, and okay. then I was walking Everest, <laughs> and I thought to myself as we were walking up, there's a lot of little like sounds everywhere, animals, yeah, wilderness. But I saw a lot of lizards, and I, I was like, just they're all lizards. Everything is just a lizard, and and then I said, is it better that I look in front of me or ahead, because. I was thinking snakes the entire time. Are you saying time. like look down or look up? Or like, no, look here or like like look okay. 10 feet ahead. And I had this whole, this is just all I'm thinking. I'm not enjoying the hike, this, at all, the, hike the, the flowers, <laughs> the ocean. I'm like, where do I look on the ground? And how long <laughs> do I look for? And what's better for me? And what happens if something flies over you? And what happens if, th- and I just, just, I'm going, I'm going. So I said, no, Alina, it's better that you just look at your feet because you're going to freak yourself out if you look ahead. So just look in your immediate two-foot zone. Okay. So I do that. Ugh. And then 
How long did this, con- like, how long did it take for you to get to this conclusion? <laughs> Five Half minutes. the hike? Oh, okay. <laughs> I made that rule. Okay. I, made, I make the rules as I go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I made that rule and I was like, this is what I'm going to do. And then we got to a point where like we were going back down. We we we, we were done with the hike. We were going on that the bot the way down, which is way easier, obviously. I I did this hike twice, and uh, there was one point where the the ground is like this, and you're walking up it. Okay. And I said I said to Will, Will was on the hike with me. I was like, this is like. So it went from Noel to Will. Yeah, I've quick. done it twice. Okay. Once with Will, once with Noel, and I said to Will. What is this like? A hundred percent, like Decrease. incline. Okay, okay. This feels like a hundred percent incline. Right. Like I'm gonna fly back into the earth <laughs> because of how steep it is. You're back heavy. You're just gonna tip backwards. Yeah, yeah. That's how bad it was. Insane hike. Okay. It's probably like level easy, but anyway. So we get to this part. It's downhill now, and for some reason, I decide to look. I f- I ditch my rule and I look twenty feet ahead. And there's a fucking snake slithering its slithery ass self. Okay. Up. Up. If I remember correctly from last week's app, you don't give a fuck about snakes. It's frogs you're scared of. (laughs) So this shouldn't have been an issue at all. It's still wildlife. Okay. Of course, because you're in Everest. But just saying, you should have just kicked that snake and kept on moving. (laughs) No problems. It can't jump. I see it slithering. And I go, no up. There's a snake. And I, all I'm thinking is, how are we going to walk around him? Because <laughs> he's in the middle of the trail. And I was like, oh, let's turn around and go back that way. And oh, like, my God. Back up back up the hill? Yeah, there was like another way okay. to exit. But I'm like, I don't know why my survival instincts didn't kick in and think I could just turn around and go back this way. I thought I had to find a way to walk head on. You should have just jumped over the snake. Absolutely not. You don't know. Okay. So then I just give the snake a check. Is it rattling? Is it not? every snake is rattling because they're slithering. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, smart idea. We don't have to walk towards it. We can walk the other way. There's multiple routes. And then like we turn around and then all of a sudden Noel goes, run, run, run. <gasps> and I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm running on this 100% incline. I'm basically going to, you know gets sucked into earth's core and <laughs> we escape and i'm like oh my god i almost died <laughs> so the snake number one didn't bite you you didn't walk around it you didn't jump over it you merely saw a snake outdoors yes <laughs> <laughs> i wonder where we live Do you have any idea and then we saw like three people on the other side of the snake of the trail and i was like no should we warn them about the snake I think we should warn him. And he's like, what are we going to say? There's a snake in the mountain? Like, <laughs> yeah, of course it's a fucking snake. <laughs> it's kind of obvious that there'd be a snake there. Um, so but we let them go to their death. Yeah, I thought about it like for 30 minutes. I was like, and I'm remembering it now. I'm like, dang, I hope they're okay. But the size. All right. Yeah. It was the size. Yeah. Of an anaconda. <laughs> Alina, Alina, Alina. The size of an anaconda. It was just roaming out there. Literally, number one, bold face lie. Number two, <laughs> it was probably a gardener snake. Number three, you probably got to pick that snake up and just chilled with it. How do you know? I grew up with snakes. <laughs> snakes snakes have my friend. No, my dad actually seeks out snakes. Like, I have, if I pulled up my text message with him i would have like seven snake videos can you ask him what kind of snake it was well you can't just say anaconda size and length <laughs> i'm pretty sure it, was, it could have been a rattlesnake it could have been gardener snake um it wasn't the size of an anaconda but in the moment that's how it felt <laughs> um it was For context an, uh, an, an anaconda is 30 feet long <gasps> Alina, I would have called nine one fucking one <laughs> up on that mountain if I would have seen an anaconda. There's no service up there. What are you supposed to do? Nine one one. There's a snake on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So um, it was like brown, gray ish. It had a face, <laughs> <laughs> eyes, nose, mouth, and it had a good like 
seven curls on it. Oh my God, that's just a snake moving. The curls don't make a snake. <laughs> they don't determine what, the snake some snake, style. Some snakes only got three curls. No, some have four. It's just uh, snakes it's curl. There's no rhyme or reason to how a snake no, curls. How many and how curls it, really... it has no. is accurate to its species. <laughs> that was a snake. She saw a picture of a snake, everyone. <laughs> okay, so again, she lied to us. It looked. Hey, it kind of looked like that, maybe, but it's it, it had a reddish tongue. You <laughs> saw its tongue <laughs> as you were sprinting away. <laughs> God, was that the first snake you've ever seen? Was it, that your first snake? Yeah. Oh my God, girl! I have seen snakes day in, day out. No problems. I just. I feel as though. You feel I have. I feel as though. <laughs> oh, you feel. I have though. not. Yeah. Don't. We can't ask Wellina what she saw. She's yeah. making <laughs> up. She saw she an anaconda for Christ's sake. <laughs> I will say it looks. Th- it looked thinner than all of those. It was probably. It was like, an LA snake. It was thin. <laughs> this um, many curls as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just didn't get a good snake lesson in life, and I. I just t- didn't. I think. You're not supposed to run, right? But we ran. You grew up... Ugh, depends on the freaking snake. You grew up in the valley and you saw no snakes? No. Wow. I didn't seek out snakes. I, I have seen so many snakes. I can't even count the amount of snakes I've seen. Really. Snakes everywhere. Snakes in my backyard. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it sick. It's nature. Uh, Yeah, I mean, like, look, I'm not petting any snakes. We're not friends. We're not close. I'm not calling them up. But, uh, you know, nothing to be scared of. Speaking of you sprinting away, there's something that's really been bothering me that I need to tell you about. Okay. I, starting from the beginning, I saw Jurassic Park at the Rooftop Cinema Club the other day. Wasn't it amazing? It was so good. I haven't watched Jurassic Park in, I'm going to say two decades. So that made me want to watch Jurassic World, the Chris Pratt version. Okay. So I watched Jurassic World the night after. Uh-huh. I don't know if this bothers you as much as this bothers me but it's um it distracted me from the movie okay the i want to say jessica chastain but i know that's not right because she also has red hair it's um the actress and i don't know who fucking did this to her because they should be jailed put her in fucking stiletto heels running away from dinosaurs in the jungle what she was sprinting in he, not even a chunky heel, Alina. I'm talking a heel that if you dare wear to a wedding with grass, your heel is jammed in. Your heel is broken. She was wearing those the entire movie. Running well, away. Why, from she, why didn't she just rats. say, this is a non starter? That's what I mean. Who, and I was thinking, who the shit is on this movie set? How many people saw that outfit? She's wearing a skirt too. Fine. Okay. I'll let the skirt go. No to the heels i mean that's unfair i every time the heels came on scene i said i said corbin look at her heels look at her heels <laughs> you think she can fucking run she ran from a t-rex in heels do you think I that can't she, even walk do you think that it was her stunt heels? double no in the heels well, what i'm wondering and then maybe it was a stunt double that was trained in heel running what i'm wondering is if <laughs> when she was actually running in the jungle or even on cement was she wearing other shoes? And in the shots that we see full body, did she switch to heels? Did she ever say to anyone, there's no way a human girl can do this? <laughs> I am. And now I just feel like I'm going to stand on my soapbox forever. And any movie I see a girl running, if she's in fucking heels, I'm writing in. I'm writing an email, a strongly worded yeah. note yeah. to somebody somewhere. I would be bothered by that as well. And now I won't be able to unsee it. I have something to say. Yeah, about heels? Yes, about shoe attire. Okay. Um, it is a fact. <laughs> I think I'm back. <laughs> no, no, this is a, in, my, in my brain fact. Okay. That you should. You should only wear sandals. And unprotected Alina. shoes when you're lounging and like you're going to have a loungy day. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hold on. If you're going to the airport. Okay. If you are going somewhere where you could be attacked. 
Oh my God. <laughs> if we leave the house, we have chance of attack. You should be in tennis shoes. In shoes that you are able to, to run, run, out, run in. And I'll tell you what. When I was in Hawaii <laughs> this past year, I a day before our flight, okay. I watched 20 videos on airplane crashes. Wait, wait. 20 videos on airplane What crash. to do if the oh airplane's going my down. Oh, God. Like, like on what YouTube? To do. Yeah. I don't know why. So what a sabotage. horrible thing to do. And one of the things that they say is... Wear the proper shoes. If you have to land and you have to run... You should be in the best shoes. That's why we do not advise wearing sandals and you should be in tennis shoes. So always wear tennis shoes on, plane. on planes, ones that I could feel comfortable running for my life in. Okay. And then I thought, okay, if that rule applies for that. It should apply for everything to dinosaurs as well. It should to dinosaurs. It should apply to uh, leaving the house. <laughs> 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 you know, ladies, if you're out there and you're thinking about leaving the house, consider shoes. Yeah, I mean, I agree. It unless you're unless you're heel. great and you can run in sandals, heels. But if you're running for your life, which could be at any moment, always got to be prepared. Have to be pre- if you're getting napped, you want shoes. You want shoes. You do. So you can run away if you have a moment. Break free, you can run away. Mm-hmm. I have tennis shoes. Don't worry about me. <laughs> but I'm kidnapped. Don't worry about me. I got tennis. <laughs> I, I just, have tennis shoes. Yeah. You're like fucking sprinting. Yeah. So I feel that. I agree with you that it, it is a fireable offense. Whoever decided fireable. to put her in heels. And you and I both know that must how make many people that must get make passed. her work day ten times harder. But that's what I'm saying. She better be paid three times as much for the heel. I doubt she was. But think about this. She was running in the jungle, right? Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs jungle. Maybe they had to almost put like boards on the ground where she was running. You'd think someone was like, if we have to put down boards to look like she's running in the jungle, maybe she should have fucking running shoes. Yeah. Mind you, Jungle Park original, she was wearing boots. That girl was in regular shoes because she knew her shit. You know what's unfortunate? What? You didn't get to enjoy I just sneeze. The entire movie because you were focused on the heels. Well, what what I'm going to do now is watch uh, Jurassic Park World 2 and 3, and I will decide if she's still wearing heels and if she's still sprinting from dinosaurs. Mm. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Let me know. I will. 